you need to do the system test for the primary display system. The displays are in the normal power-up configuration. Select the information icon to see the names of the display formats. The capability to switch displays improves system performance and reliability. Now the information icon shows the names of these display formats. During failures of related display units, the PDS automatically switches the PFD and the ICAS displays. You can manually switch formats at any time. In this topic, you will use the inboard DUs as a PFD, an ICAS display, and an MFD. You will also use the lower center DU as an ND. Select the three panels you use to switch the display formats. There are three panels that manually switch the displays. Select the Display Select panel and the Captain's and First Officer's Display Switching panels. Select the Display Select panel and the Captain's and First Officer's Display Switching panels. These panels control display switching. The operation of the captain's and first officer's inboard display selectors are similar. Use the captain's inboard display selector to show both the PFD and the ICAS display on the inboard DU. Use the correct positions on the inboard display selector. Select the proper position on the inboard display selector. Notice that the display on the related DU goes away when you switch the format. Now return the displays to their normal configuration. When you select either the nav position or the MFD position, the inboard DU shows the ND. You have completed the first two tasks. Next, you will change the inboard DUs to MFDs. Change both inboard DUs to MFDs and show either a synoptic, status page, or secondary engine display. Start with the captain's side. Use the Display Select panel. Select Left Inboard on the DSP. Select the Display Format. Now change the First Officer's Inboard Display to an MFD. Select the Display Format. Next, change the display format on the lower center DU. Select the display format. That's correct. Next, you can practice.
Start with this configuration and put any combination of secondary engine, status page, or synoptic displays on the inboard and lower DUs. For a system test, you show each display format in each location. Here you can try a few selections or select the green arrow to continue. These switch functions are covered in a different lesson. From this configuration, change the inboard DUs back to their normal power-up displays. Now show the secondary engine display on the lower center DU. Use the display select panel. The displays are back to normal. You have used the inboard displays as multifunction displays. Next, you will use the lower center DU as an ND. Show an ND on the lower center DU. Use the display select panel. Now for a question. Is it the captain's ND or the first officer's ND on the lower center DU? Correct. When both NDs show on an inboard display, the captain's ND shows in two locations. Now put the displays back to the normal power-up configuration. Show the secondary engine display on the lower center DU. You switched display formats to alternate locations during normal display unit operation. In this topic, you will use the display system controls during several failure conditions. You will also operate the display system with ICAS in the limited mode. For the first condition, the outboard DU has failed and the PFD has automatically switched to the inboard DU. Now use the captain's inboard display selector to change the format on the inboard DU. Notice that nothing happens. The switch does not function when the PFD automatically switches to the inboard position. The second condition shows that the upper center DU has failed and ICAS has automatically switched to the lower center DU. What is the ICAS mode? Correct. In this condition, ICAS is in the limited mode. The compacted engine display shows. Now change the compacted engine display to the ICAS display. Use the display select panel. Select engine. Show the compacted engine display again. Now use the other switches on the display select panel that are active in the limited mode. Show fuel data or air data. Three switches on the display select panel are active in the limited mode. They toggle information on either the ICAS or the compacted engine displays. You can practice some more or select the green arrow to continue.
Now use the captain's inboard display selector to show the secondary engine display on the lower center DU. The engine switch toggles the display between compacted engine and ICAS. Move the ICAS display. Now show the ICAS display on the right inboard DU. Use the inboard display selector. Select ICAS on the first officer's inboard display selector. Now ICAS shows on both inboard DUs. Remember that ICAS is still in the limited mode. Change the fuel data on the ICAS display. Normally, that selection would show the fuel synoptic on the lower center DU. Use the Display Select panel. Select one of the inboard switches. Notice that the fuel data changes on both ICAS displays, even though you only selected one inboard switch. The air switch also changes both displays. In this topic, you have controlled and moved displays under non-normal conditions when automatic switching has occurred. You have also operated switches with ICAS in the limited mode. In this topic, you will do several tasks using the alternate controls. First, Identify a component that can be an alternate display select panel. Any one of the three CDUs can be used at any time as an alternate display select panel. What happens when an alternate DSP function is enabled on a CDU? Correct. The DSP and the DSP functions on the other CDUs are disabled. Now use the left CDU and the captain's inboard display selector to show the status page on the inboard DU. First make the inboard DU an MFD. Remember, you want to show the status page on the left inboard DU. Good. The status page now shows on the left inboard DU. Now use the alternate controls to show a navigation display on the lower center DU. Good. Now return the displays to normal and disable the alternate display select panel function. Start with the lower center DU. First show the secondary engine display on the lower center DU. Select nav on the inboard display selector. Now disable the alternate DSP function. Return to the main menu on the CDU. Things are back to normal. You have successfully completed the exercises. Select and drag a PFD over a DU location where it normally shows and release it. If that location is correct, it will stay. Correct. 
correct. The PFDs normally show on the outboard DUs. Drag an ND over a DU. Correct. 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 Three NDs can show at the same time. Now position the ICAST displays to where they can show at the same time. Correct. Correct. This is the only configuration where two ICAST displays can show at the same time. Here are three types of MFD displays. Put them in the correct locations. Correct. 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 Good. MFD displays can show in these locations. You have completed the PDS lesson on format locations and switching controls. You have used the primary and alternate controls to move display formats to possible locations during normal DU operation and with DU failures. These skills will be required when you do a system test of the primary display system.